welcome to my channel, Tiffany here, and I'm the owner of Tiffany Gordon Cosplay LLC, which is a company that focuses on costume and prop fabrication as well as education. And today I'm gonna to be introducing to you for the very first time, my brand new horn building kit. Which is available now on my website and I'll do a link in the description and let's begin. This kit will come in a clear baggie, and when you open it, you will see that there is a headband included, as well as four large EVA foam parts, four small EVA foam parts, and two circles. And these are all two millimeter EVA foam pieces that are already pre-heat treated, as well as I've already labeled them, so that way it is easy for you to assemble them from letters A through E, and then V through Z. There are a few things that you will need in order to assemble these kits, that are not included. And that is contact cement glue, which is going to be the adhesive that we're going to use. As well as for safety, we are going to be needing to use a respirator when using this glue. To first start off, let's lay out all of the pieces in order. So that way you know which one attaches to which. And we're gonna be applying glue to one edge of each of these pieces onto B and C, the connecting parts, as well as D and E, V and W, and X and Y. And because because these pieces were all laser cut, the edge is not going to be as smooth as it would be if you were using an X-Acto knife to cut these edges. So I highly recommend applying a second coat of glue onto that edge. And then again, wait for it to dry. Once the glue is fully dry, you're then gonna take your two pieces, we're gonna do B and C first. Throughout this process, I always recommend using the table to attach all of your pieces, so that way your edges will align as flush and as flat as possible. So with that in mind, we're starting at the bottom and slowly using the table, work your way up about halfway. Once you're at the halfway mark, you're then going to take the two tip parts and attach those together and then slowly work your way down until you meet the two pieces together in the center. This will give you the best results. Then repeat these same processes for the other parts. At the end, your pieces should look like this. Next, we're going to be attaching the two longest edges together. This would be part C to D and part W to X. And again, we're going to be using our contact cement glue, applying a coat to that edge, wait for it to fully dry, and again, apply a second coat of glue and wait for that to dry. And if you have not used contact cement glue before, the glue to get the best results, you want to attach the two pieces together while they are dry. If the glue is still wet, your edges are going to rotate and slide back and forth and not adhere properly. Now that all the glue is dry, we're going to attach part BC to DE. Again, starting at the bottom, connecting the two pieces, and we're gonna use the table and slowly connect the seam upward towards the center. Your piece will gradually want to bend with you. Then you're going to attach the top part together and then slowly work your way towards the center going back and forth. And I will note halfway through, I did flip it inside out, so that way it was easier to attach. So you want all of the letters throughout this process to be on the outside part facing you. Then repeat for the second part. and you should have two pieces that look like this afterwards. Now for the last major seam, and I'll say this one is the hardest to attach out of all of the pieces. And we're gonna first start off by applying the glue to the last two edges of each piece. Again, we're going to wait for it to dry and then apply a second coat of glue. Then once the glue is dry, we're going to attach that last seam together. For this one, we are not gonna be using the table. We're gonna be attaching it mid-air. So first, grab your two ends, starting at the bottom, and slowly work your way up. I will note that it's easier to attach the bottom part of the trim, so it first attaches and then kinda pinch it together so the rest of the seam will adhere together. Then repeat for the second one, and they should both look like this when you are done. Now for attaching the last EVA foam part, and these are going to be your circle base pieces. And for the glue onto the circle part, you're gonna apply it onto the face all the way around. 
And for our horn part, you're going to apply the glue to the edge. Again, we're going to wait for the glue to dry and then apply a second coat of glue. Now for attaching. First, we're going to grab the circle and I highly recommend bending it in half, making sure the glue is on the outside so it doesn't touch each other. And this will give you a crease on both ends, which will help you aligning it to the actual horn part. And we're going to attach that part to the top part of the horn. This should be between B and E seam, attaching it there at first and slowly working back and forth on both sides, attaching it to the base edge. Then when you're about a third way down on both sides, grab the other edge and you're going to attach that to the crease part on the circle and repeat onto the edge till you slowly make both parts attach and fully complete your horn. Then just repeat for the second horn to complete both of your foam horns. And the final part is putting your headband into the horns. And you may have noticed that on each of your horns, there are slits already cut out. And this is so you can insert the headband into one hole and out through the other so you can put them on your headband easily. And congratulations on finishing your horns from this kit. And when you put the EVA foam horns on the headband, you can permanently attach them with contact cement glue or you can just leave them be so they can slide up and down and you can change the position of where the horns sit on your head. And that, guys, is how to make the horns from this horn kit. And again, it is available on my website. And I hope you found this video helpful for making your horns. And if so, let me know in the comments, as well as I'd love to have you as part of our cosplay building community here. So subscribe to the channel. As well as a big thank you to all of my company sponsors here on YouTube, as well as my members, specifically those legendary members who financially help to support me. And I'll see you for our next video. Much love, guys.